Can the closer close the deal tonight? A few matches ago, Carolina Jim, we were talking about how Casey Navarro and Sean Legacy may not have a full knowledge of one another. That is not going to be the case here. Jared Diaz knows O'Shea Edwards very well. O'Shea Edwards knows Jared Diaz very well. When we have the Battle Royal, the gauntlet, to determine who would get that opportunity, that golden opportunity contract that O'Shea Edwards used to win the AXW title, the final two were Edwards, after he spent most of that match here on commentary with myself and with Brian Murphy. Or will it be the man who actually fought his way through that battle royal, our challenger in the ring right now, Jared Diaz. And you do have the handful of supporters, but I still think two months later, most of AXW Nation is still deflated at the fact that this man is our heavyweight champion and Matt Quay is not. Matt Quay is at the back of the line now. Maybe a little ahead of that because he does have now that win tonight, that very impressive win over OVW's own Dalton McKenzie. But O'Shea Edwards, he loves collecting belts and he dislikes a fair fight. He always has backup. And it looks like tonight that backup is coming in the form of Jay Bougie. As the champion is taking his lap around the ring, I am keeping a little bit of an eye on Jared Diaz. He looks very focused. All business in there. I can't help but notice this apparatus on his arm, though. Is he coming in here with an injured shoulder? You'll see it a little bit more when we get our introductions, but Jared Diaz has what looks like a brace or a pad of some sort over his, over his left shoulder. O'Shea Edwards insisting that our ring announcer, Samira, hold the ropes as the champ enters the ring. A very confident, big, bad kaiju. See O'Shea having some words for Ben Barnett. Introducing first, the challenger. He is sponsored by Bald Monkeys Podcast. From the Bronx, New York, the closer, Jerry Diaz. And his opponent, he is sponsored by the Wrestling Junkies Podcast. He's one bad mofo. He certainly is. That is putting it lightly, Carolina Jim. Putting it very lightly. But Jared Diaz does not look intimidated in the least. Looks very focused. Trying to play his own little bit of mind games here. Looking very nonchalant. Doing the old Shawn Michaels. I'm going to sit up on this. I'm just going to perch myself up on this corner here and let you do what you want to do. 
And what Ben Barnett has in his hands right now is what this is all about, the AXW World Championship. That's what it's all about O'Shea right Edwards showing a little like Apollo Creed and Rocky, the showmanship, whereas Jared Diaz, he's just all business in there. And it's going to be Apollo Creed and Rocky, or it's going to be Apollo Creed and Rocky 4? That is the big question. Ding, ding. The main event is on, and now you see Diaz clearly showing off his game plan. It's going to be speed. Taking it right to the one true Kaiju. Forearm staggers Edwards, but is not taking the big man Kaiju off his feet. O'Shea Edwards just can't catch Jared Diaz. Oh, yes he can. There he did. And there's that old adage, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. But the man who put it best is the legendary Rowdy Roddy Piper when he said they don't fall so often. And that is what Jared Diaz is learning right now, a very hard lesson. Jared Diaz is one of those guys that is very, very in your face, very, very assertive in his wrestling style. He will take a hit to deliver two. But one O'Shea Edwards hit is about six or seven from a normal man. How could he not be intimidated standing across the ring from O'Shea Edwards? I believe most people are. And with Jared Diaz, it might be one of those things where it's that, that sense of feeling the fear and doing it anyway. But right now, he is realizing that he may have bit off a little more than he could chew. And the one true Kaiju might be more than he bargained for. Camel clutch applied. O'Shea Edwards is loving his submissions lately. Defeated Matt Quay just last month at We The People with a bear hug. Of course, Papa Quay thrown in the towel. O'Shea saying, I wrestle for me, and then planting a forearm across the face of Jared Diaz. We are getting this. Jay Bushi making sure we are getting exactly what is going on here. Jay Bushi needs to stay in his lane. And now O'Shea is having a lot of fun. And why wouldn't he? He is dominating so far. This is a performance that is making, the only thing I can think of, Carolina Jim, is Iron Mike Tyson. That is what I'm thinking of right now. This is a Mike Tyson level dominant performance so far. We're talking about Apollo Creed. But even Iron Mike Tyson was never undefeated. That's true, and how did he lose his fights? If you could ride through that initial wave of intimidation, if you could if you could survive that early onslaught, you could find that opening. That's what Buster Douglas did. It took round 10 to knock Tyson down. But right now, Jared Diaz might have to get saved by the bell to get out of round one. The closer knows O'Shea Edwards well. He knows what to do here, but knowing what to do and being able to do it are two very different things, especially when you're in there with somebody with the raw power, the raw tenacity, just the overwhelming dominance of O'Shea Edwards. And then you have that annoying pest bougie out there to just make it even worse. Not a good night so far for the challenger. But he's able to get out of an early two count there. I think mean, the fans here are stunned as to the dominance so far of the champ, O'Shea Edwards. It is amazing to see this man at work. It is amazing to see what he can do in that ring. But now Diaz finally might have an opening. Dropkick takes O'Shea to a knee. Oh, and off his feet. feet. Oh, yes. boy. But Diaz goes to the well a few too many times. And O'Shea saw the same thing we saw, that, that shoulder apparatus. And that is just a attack me here sign. That might as well be what that is. It's like the old kick me sign on the back here. People put on the back of somebody. Happened to me a few times. 
And now repeated body slams from the big bad Kai. Power slam this time. And the champion trying to make it a short night. He doesn't get paid by the hour, he gets paid by the win. How is Jared Diaz even moving in that ring? He's moving right now, but I have a feeling he's not going to be moving so well tomorrow. That's, that's the impression I'm getting. O'Shea now scooping up Jared Diaz. Sling, no, stun gun. Stun gun delivered. And the big boot, the extension that O'Shea Edwards, a man of that size, to get that foot so far up in the air. And now you see on the replay how effortlessly O'Shea can scoop Diaz up for that power slam. Only gets a two count. Junkyard dog-esque. Thumped him. At one, at one point does the referee say, you know, Jared Diaz has had enough. Well, right now Diaz is going to have to answer that 10 count if he wants this to continue. And O'Shea is not going out to get him. He will take a count out win. A win's a win. A win is a win. It is up to Jared Diaz to answer that count. It is at seven, and Diaz is still on his knees. One second away. One second away. The O'Shea broke the count. Are you kidding me? Diaz looked like he was going to just barely beat that 10 count. Maybe he wouldn't have. But O'Shea Edwards is now toying with him. O'Shea Edwards is toying with Jared Diaz. And now he is going to go out and get the closer. But Diaz may have been playing a little bit of possum there. Jared Diaz may have thought that I understand O'Shea Edwards. I know this man's ego. I know he's going to come out and get me. And that was exactly what Diaz was banking on. Now firing O'Shea's arm into that post. You can break a bone. It doesn't matter how big you are. If that arm is broken, that arm is broken. And you know Diaz does not want to win by count out. He saw what happened with the golden era. Yes, they got to see Security Inc. take it out of here in cusp, but Security Inc. are still the tag team champions once they get out of jail. O'Shea Edwards needs to be pinned or submitted. And, and, and just saying that out loud, who's going to pin or submit O'Shea Edwards? How can Jared Diaz do that? It's like an oxymoron. And now O'Shea taking Jarrett's shoulder brace off. Oh no, he's going for that post. Diaz though sends O'Shea face first, but O'Shea doesn't even go down. Took that post head on Moonsault. Still not down. No. No, he is not. O'Shea gonna do it again now. But again, this time O'Shea does go down. O'Shea wiped out. It just feet away from us. Jay Bougie trying to get his man back into this. Again, the vanity, the ego of O'Shea Edwards trying that same move twice and it, 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 it backfired two times. And this could be exactly what Jared Diaz needed to get back into this. This could be the opening that Jared Diaz needs. Flies over the top rope. Flying swanton from Jared Diaz. And you can feel the momentum shifting. A seismic momentum shift the second that O'Shea Edwards hit that post for the second time. And now the next challenge is getting O'Shea back in that ring. There you see that was the first, that was that moonsault that O'Shea catches and goes once again. Well, Jared Diaz, Diaz knows he can't win with a count out, can't he, win the title with a count out. He cannot, but there is the momentum changer right there on the replay. It is that post to the face the second time, knocking O'Shea out. But now, yes, you're exactly right, Carolina Jim, and there's that beautiful dive too. At seven, finally, 
O'Shea's back in the ring, and now Jarrett is smelling blood. Forearm sends the on true Kaiju reeling back. But O'Shea catches him again! Can you believe it? The strength, the unmitigated power, and there's that bear hug. This is how O'Shea Edwards defeated Matt Quay in the rematch. There is no Papa Diaz to throw in the, the towel, but will Jared Diaz be able to withstand this? Will he have to tap out? Can he get to the rope? Can he fight his way out of it? Crowd trying to get behind Diaz. Diaz trying to get to the rope to break the count. And he had a little bit of breathing room there, but then O'Shea cinches in again, now doing a deep squat. Lowering his center of gravity so he's harder to move. Bell clap! The bell clap! Breaks the bear hug. But Diaz was not able to take off. Release German suplex. Not to be confused with the Mexican suplex of Tommy Vex. Completely different move. Yeah, don't confuse those two. And now you can feel the air let out of the Orangeburg Veterans Memorial as O'Shea Edwards has stopped the comeback attempt. You just talked about that momentum shifted. Well, it just shifted again. Swinging like a pendulum. But it looks like O'Shea Edwards is going to want to put this one away for good. He's going all the way to the top. If he lands this, it's over. O'Shea taking his time, he's trying to steady himself. I don't know if he can. Those ropes are sagging mightily. Mosul misses the mark. Big mistake by O'Shea Edwards. Back elbow sends the champion down flat on his back. This could be the last best chance for Jared Diaz if he can follow up. If he can cement a victory here, can become the new AXW champion. Begging for O'Shea Edwards to get to his feet. Warming up that band. O'Shea has no idea what's in store for him. Faints, faints a little too much. O'Shea catches the kick. And now, a little bit of an Oklahoma stampede. Neck into the turnbuckle. O'Shea was able to put on the brakes after Diaz got out of that. And Poison Rana delivered. Can he capitalize? O'Shea convulsing, but he's got to turn O'Shea around. Now what's Jay Bougie doing? Bougie up on the apron, knee to the back of the head. Shining wizard to the back of the head. One, two, no. No, Mac Quay now chasing Bougie Amer all around. American Hammer, Mac Quay. Bougie running for his life. Bougie fell down, still trying. Bougie's running out of here. Mac Quay has run Jay Bougie out of Orwigsburg. Roll up by Edwards, handful of tights. One, two, no. Even with the handful of tights, O'Shea cannot put Jared Diaz out. And now you can see the disbelief in the face of our champion. He has no backup. His dirty tricks didn't work. And Jared Diaz seems to have an answer for everything O'Shea's doing. Well scouted, super kick. Super kick delivered. Springboard cutter. Can he cover him? If Jared Diaz can turn him around, we could have a new champion here. O'Shea's over. One, two. No! Oh. It doesn't get any closer than that. Just a two. Shoulder up, senior official Ben Barnett right on it. But milliseconds away, Jared Diaz milliseconds away from winning that AXW World Championship. And O'Shea still not moving. Let's see how close that count was again. There's the big cutter. 
and just that little bit of extra time it took to get O'Shea Edwards slipped over, you saw it there. That was a two count, you remember it, but it was that extra bit of time we just showed you that was the difference between winning the title and coming close to winning the title. And now Jared Diaz looking for another way to finish this one off. But O'Shea able to put that big frame up on the ropes and was able to knock Diaz off neck and chest against the top rope and Diaz is just holding on. Gripping that top rope, that's the only thing keeping him on his feet right now. Both wrestlers showing that they've been in a war. Exhaustion setting in. It is beyond fatigue. It is exhaustion setting in right now. And it looks like O'Shea Edwards is going for that big superplex. Quaking the entire building, quaking all of Schuylkill County for the one, two, that'll do it. And it took everything that O'Shea had. It took every last trick in the book, every ounce of power. You can see the sweat beating off of him. But the one true kaiju still reigns supreme. Jared Diaz leaving it all on the table has nothing to be ashamed of, but it just wasn't enough to topple the monster. Hey. 